we have this long intestinal tract that requires this. You know, so it just, it doesn't make any sense at all. And when you eat chicken that has dead bird, that has no fiber, it, it doesn't even fill the stomach. You know, it's important to fill our stomach. So we actually stretch the stomach wall and the receptors, the st stomach receptors, send a signal to the brain to stop eating. And that's the beauty of fruits and vegetables because they're full of fiber, they're full of fructose and glucose and water. So they distend the stomach wall for far less calories. So if you're going to eat the chicken, it's going to take so many more calories to distend the stomach wall. Think about it, to distend that sack, it's going to take so many more calories because it has no fiber. It doesn't have the bulk that fruits and vegetables have. This is a very important factor in satiation, in that stop eating signal. And carbohydrate rich foods are so good. And hey y'all, I wanted to make this very impromptu video to expand on that one where I was talking about freely yesterday because I can't stop thinking about that uh, concept, how she said, and I'll uh, link the video below, but she basically says you have to stretch your stomach completely, you know, completely full, and that's what those receptors, once you do that, signal the brain to understand that you're full, that you're satiated, and you don't need to eat anymore. And so she was saying this about, like, with meat, we would have to eat so much more meat to do this and um and that would be obviously you know more calories and things like that but it's so it's such a distorted uh way of viewing this and i i think she somewhat knows this because if she acknowledged the truth that would literally debunk their whole you know like it would prove the food they're eating, the diet they're eating, is not adequate nutritionally. So I think if uh, more vegans understood like what really causes you to feel satiated and stop eating, or even hungry in the first place, they would not go down this road and like ruin their health to begin with. So hunger and satiety mechanisms. A group of chemicals in our brain called orexins are released when our bloodstream, our digestive system and our energy stores send signals that it's time to eat because we are beginning to run out of energy and nutrients. The main orexin is the neuropeptide Y, a neurotransmitter that relays the signals to eat more, causing hunger. Conversely, when our bloodstream, our digestive system, and our energy stores send signals that we still have plenty of nutrients, anorexigenic chemicals are produced in our brain, such as alpha-melanotropin, a hormone which does the exact opposite of the NPY, and relays the signal that we do not need to eat, causing satiety. So yeah, um, when you get hungry, your body, it's because you don't have adequate nutrients, you know, for energy and whatnot. And so these hormones signal to your brain that you need to eat. And then when you start eating, once your body, your blood gets uh, the nutrients, it, it sees that there's enough, you'll feel satiated. And that's why omnivores and carnivores and keto, you know, all of these people who eat meat, that's why time and time and time again, they talk about how they feel satiated on a little amount of food and then they can go a long long time before they have to eat again you know they don't have to expand their their stomach they don't have to stretch it full to feel satiated and this is also interesting because so so many vegans so many ex-vegans you hear them say how they would eat eat you know these big huge banana smoothies and just all of these greens and all of this stuff and fill their stomach to where they cannot fit any more food in there and they would still feel hungry like a it's a different sort of feeling because they're not satiated their brain has not been signaled like hey we've got what we need <laughs> you know you can stop eating so it's still looking for more it's still looking for the nutrients like where are the nutrients so this is science. If she acknowledges this, if all vegans would acknowledge this, 
that you know your the nutrients act, actually signal satiation. If they acknowledge this, they will have to acknowledge that their diet is nutritionally inadequate. Otherwise, they would feel full, you know, off of eating just a plate of a normal plate of food. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say, and um, I hope I hope more people can realize this and um, not spend years of their life ruining their health and trying to tweak it. Like I was watching the vegetable place this morning, just tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking the diet and do, flipping it every which way, and still never figuring out anything that works with just eating plants because the nutrients are not there. They are they are on paper, but you have to understand, you have to listen to your body. They are not there. Once you know if your body's not converting them all adequately, they're not there. Okay? So and then once these people have done that so many times and finally leave they're told by all the vegans that they didn't do it right. And, and then they use that. They use that as fuel. Like, oh, well, look, they were doing this extreme form and they were doing all these different diets. No shit. Okay, so, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So satiation is due to nutrition. It's due to the getting adequate nutrients. And so if you're not feeling satiated off of a normal amount, size amount of food, then that food is not providing you with what you need. So they distend the stomach wall for far less calories. So if you're going to eat the chicken, it's going to take so many more calories to distend the stomach wall. Think about it. To distend that sack, it's going to take so many more calories because it has no fiber. It doesn't have the bulk.